Here is a video presentation of Emabuntu's new accessibility features for the blind and visually impaired. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use Emabuntu's in a live mode session and how to activate the various accessibility functions to achieve this. Until now, people have been using the up and down arrow to navigate in the main menu. For example, we go to the English entry and press enter. And the first option read, try Emabuntu without install or install it using Calamaris. Backspace to go back to the main menu. And here we can see that uh, one short key has been added for each option of the menu. For example, if we press the I key, we go directly into the Italian submenu. Right? Backspace. And that was the first step. To further improve usability for the blind, audio functions have also been added to the Emabintu Grub. We can see that a new option has been added after the list of the language option. Speech synthesis is currently off and when I press the S shortcut to turn it on, we will hear the corresponding audio information. This information is based on the Morse code and indicates that the S key has been pressed and that the text-to-speech function is now activated. Now, if we type G, we got an audio information telling us that we just entered the English submenu. And if we go back to the previous screen, we can hear a beep as a new audio indicator telling us that we are back in the main menu. You can also deactivate this function by pressing S again. And this time you can hear the O Morse code, three long beeps, which is the opposite of the S Morse code, three short beeps. We reactivate this text-to-speech text mode to show you how to start an Ebabuntu live session in accessibility mode. Now we press the G key to enter the English submenu. And we are going to press the T key to launch a live session in accessibility mode and then a well-known little melody will confirm that the live mode has been launched. Now we are going to wait for the system to load completely and when it's ready an accessibility window will open enabling blind and visually impaired users to configure the various features. First, the system will inform the user of the different options available in this window. Here we go. Accessibility activation panel of Emabound is for the blind or visually impaired people. The escape key allows you to stop reading this information and the R key to read it back. To start audio aid or info shortcuts via ABook speaker, press the I or H key. To quit ABook speaker, press Q for the visually impaired. Configure the functions located in the visual frame to suit your visual acuity. To help you, you can start Compass Zoom by pressing Alt Super C, then Control Up or Down Arrow to zoom in or out. For the blind, if you wish to use these functions, press their corresponding keys listed below to toggle them on or off. O4 Orca, C4 Orca's options, T4 Laptop Shortcuts, A4 Audio Info, W to find out the internet state, U4 Update State, L4 Autologen, E to use SPE instead of Pico, P and K to find out the synthesis voices for Pico and SPE. Use S to know the config state, then enter to validate your choices. Otherwise, press Q to ignore these functions. The system read us the information for the blind, 
who now know what's in the window and how to configure it. The active part of the window is divided into two areas. The audio area dedicated to the blind and the visual area for the visually impaired people. We will first focus on the audio area. A blind person will activate ORCA. It's very simple. He or she press the O key. Key ORCA enabled. The system has informed the user of the key that has been pressed and told him or her that the ORCA function has been activated. And in addition, we can also see the mark of the checkbox which is located in front of the Activate ORCA option. In principle, the configuration of these options is standard for all users, who are therefore not obliged to go into further detail, but if they wish, they can, for example, disable information on the state of the Internet or disable information on the states of the updates. For example, when you log on to your computer, it won't tell you every time whether the Internet is active or not or that there are updates to be made or not. There are personal choices that can be deactivated by the user using the shortcuts formulated by the system when this window was open. The user can also find out how the window options are configured. To do this, press the S key and the system will read out the status of the option accessible to the blind. Key S configuration state, ORCA enabled. S Fox Pico language is American. Speech synthesis SPE disabled. SPE language is N US, American. Laptop shortcuts disabled. Audio information enabled. Internet state information enabled. Update state enabled. Stay Mac keyboard language is US English. United States. Single quote, single quote. The user can then decide whether this option suit him or not. And if so, press enter to validate the configuration. The window will close and in our case ORCA will be activated. Now let's take a look at the second part entitled visual, which is more geared towards the visually impaired. They will be able to configure a few options such as changing the shape of the cursor or changing the theme. To achieve this, they can use the mouse in this area. But if the window is not readable enough for them, they can activate Compiz directly to improve the window's visibility. To do this, press Alt Super C. Super underscore LSP languages others. A few details in the interface, such as the window closing icon here, show that the compiz has been launched. And we can now try zooming by pressing Ctrl upper row to increase the zoom factor. And here the magnifier is in action. Control down a row to go back to the normal zoom factor. We will continue in this normal position to configure this area. We start activating Compass, otherwise it won't be on the next time the system shows startup and we can change the shape of the cursor for example maya orange we can change the size of this cursor don't press enter now otherwise the window will close immediately 
You can reopen it with Alt Super A, but it's best to do all the settings at once. You can change the theme, for example with the high contrast. You can change the font, usually. Potentially you can change the icon as well with the high contrast. When everything is ready, all they have to do is press the activate button and this configuration will be registered. There are also four buttons at the bottom left of the screen to access visual or audio ads. We click on the visual shortcut and a Firefox window will open listing the accessibility shortcuts available in Mabuntu's or in the system. The user can navigate through the list of shortcuts, of course, and you can notice that uh, the selection is made in row mode instead of colon mode, which is often the case with PDF readers installed on free or proprietary system. In another video, we will show you how to use Firefox to switch to information reading mode. Closing the window is easy. Alt F4. For the visually impaired, it's going to be complicated to read this information. So we also have an audio version of this shortcut then can be launch, launched with the H key. PH opening shortcuts aid in audio mode. Summary of Imabundus accessibility shortcuts. Note. The super key is also called the Windows. Uh, Ebook speaker window opens and the user can use the space bar to stop or restart the reading and move through the list using up and down a row and enter to start a new chapter. Here I'm going to use Alt F4 to exit. There are also shortcuts to access the manual but it's still under development and not quite ready. This is what the accessibility interface looks like and we are now going to show you the accessibility functions available in this new version of Emabuntu. So, I'm going to validate by pressing enter. Key return configuration validation. Screen reader on. Desktop frame. So here we are and we can see that uh, Compass has been started also by pressing Control up. Left control, desktop frame. And if we go to the menu icon, whisper menu frame, search text, we can see that we have the magnifier glass on. Here we have uh, all the accessibility function available here that we will uh, look at in a more detailed video. We have the accessibility and we have the, also the audio function available here. I'm going to... Desktop frame, left control, left Left desk, desktop, desk, 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 desk. I return to normal zoom. 
as we have activated the owner information option, the system tells us when we press the Alt Shift. Left Alt. Left Shift. Up arrow. Volume increase sound of 10%. The sound has increased of 10%. Okay. We can deactivate this option directly by calling up the accessibility window. In that case, the sound volume will be increased, but the user won't have any audio information about the execution of this command. To shut the system, simply press the shortcut Alt S. Left Alt. The presentation stops here too. This was just a small preview of the new accessibility features that have been added to Emma Buntus. See you soon.